the one concept that differentiates agile business from a static one. Most business designs are bad. We ended up like this because we simply copied existing business design instead of taking a deliberate approach. Most businesses will have departments like sales, marketing, engineering, manufacturing, finance, customer support, inventory control, shipping, etc. We know that if these become siloed, that it increases the friction in delivering the customer experience you desire. When a customer orders a product, her order goes through sales to take the order, inventory to check availability, manufacturing to make it if not available, billing to invoice the customer, accounts receivable to receive the money, shipping to deliver the product, marketing to offer future promotions, and customer support to offer any post-sales support and warranty. Would you have designed the business this way? I'm not suggesting that we change the current organization drastically because that's impractical. Instead, I'll share with you one architectural concept called modularity that can make a business adapt better to changes. Modularity is about partitioning the business into smaller parts. Modules can be invoked in different sequences to provide personalized customer experiences. Only the architects and designers of each module need to know how that particular module works, a concept called abstraction. The functions of the module are exposed as interfaces which will be invoked in many sequences. Here's a real life analogy. Say you want to take your date out to the big city for the night. You first visit the bank to get some money, enjoy a comedy show, have a cozy dinner, grab some ice cream, and then check into the hotel for the night. You don't need to know how any of these places work. All you care about is how to interact with each of these entities, which is analogous to our modules. Another couple might go for the dinner and comedy show only. Think of a business in the same way, with many modules that each provide some functionality and individual customer journeys through these businesses can be crafted to suit different customers. Each module just plays a role in one of many end-to-end -end business processes. Each module can be enhanced independently can be invoked in different sequences, and the work can be performed internally or may be outsourced. Departments are supposed to be high-level modules, but these modules are not granular enough. Factors like politics and disjointed strategies cause them not to behave like modules, all driving friction among them and resulting in poor customer experiences. Today, you might sell insurance and then collect premiums. Tomorrow, you might collect premiums first and then configure the product based on how much the customer could afford. In the sales process, you might outsource payment handling to another company such as PayPal. Modularity allows you to reconfigure your business processes with relative ease. Your business might be starting on a transformation journey with artificial intelligence playing a big role. In this exercise, you have to make many decisions such as what platform to use, what tools to use, how to structure your AI team, what processes should get priority, what capabilities you need to develop, how to structure your organization, what vendors to partner with, etc. Many of these answers can be changed if you adapt the principles of modularity as you transform your organization. If not, you'll be ripping and replacing a lot, which makes business static instead of agile, and that's an expensive exercise. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you.